how we doing guys welcome back to the channel and this is my enhancement guide for both the boss gear and the accessories i've decided to combine this video into one now this guide does require you to have a basic understanding of stack building if you don't you're still welcome to watch the video if it clicks it clicks if it doesn't i have got past guides going through the foundations of stack building now for those of you that are veterans and are just interested in what stacks i use when enhancing my boss gear and accessories this section is for you you can just watch this part to get my numbers and then make your own stacks the way you see fit so we are going to start with the boss gear now when i am going from pry to duo i usually start on my 29 stack and i push that all the way to 38 when you start with the 29 stack it's a 30 percent success rate and that percentage obviously increases as the stack goes up now when i'm going for duo to try i start with a 38 stack and then i push that all the way to 50 and again, on the starting stack of 38, it's a 30% success rate as well. Now, when I am going from try to tet, I start with the 80 stack and I push that all the way to 110. It's a 19% success rate at 80%. And then that pushes up to around, I think, 23, 24% when you start getting to the 110 area. And then finally, for the pen stack, I start at 110 and push it to 250. In terms of the starting point, it's a little bit under 4%, I believe, for the success rate. And then when your stack's getting close to the 200 mark, it starts pushing to about 6% success rate. Now, there are many different methods to getting your pens. In my opinion, if you're just trying to get the pen and you're not worried about the stack, I believe that the most efficient way to get that pen would be to push your stack somewhere between 130 to 150, then stop there and then cron your way to pen. But obviously there's lots of different ways. If you don't want to use cron stones, I'll definitely stop at 250. 250 is a great pen accessory stack so now on the subject of accessories when i'm upgrading my accessories these are the stacks that i'm using so for the pry i start around 18 to 20 which starts at a 70 percent success rate just be warned sometimes you do end up failing two three four even five of these in a row it is really really frustrating when that happens it doesn't happen very often but my advice is keep calm and carry on. Now, when I'm going for a duo, I'll start at around 40 stack and I'll go all the way up to around 45. I'll stop around there. Again, it's a 50% success rate when starting at the 40 point. I think it ends around at a 51% success rate at 45. And now, when I'm going for the try, I'll start around a 44 stack and stop at 50. Again, at the starting point of 44, it's a 40% success rate. And finally, for my 10 attempts, I always start at 110 stack. That is the stack that I use for any decent end game accessory. And I've had pretty good success with it overall. I've had some bad streaks, but I've had plenty of good streaks as well. So that is definitely the stack I'd be recommending for you guys. So for this guide, we're going to be starting with the boss gear. And this is how I make my stacks when attempting to go from pry to duo on that boss gear. I start with a flat 20 stack and with that 20 stack I will then fail on granite helmets up to a 29 stack and then on that 29 stack like I said earlier that's when I'll be going for the duo. I will keep pushing that 29 stack up to 38 and I will stop enhancing at 38 and either book up that stack which is what I normally do or you could keep that stack and change characters. Now, if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, we said that we're going to be using 38 stacks as our starting point for going for try. And obviously, when you were going from pry to duo, if you failed three times, you've had that 38 stack. So that's one way to get your 38 stack. But if you did have to start fresh, what I would be doing is pushing my reblaft to a 21 stack and then using pry grano helmets and failing duo up to the 30 stack. And then using duo grano helmets and failing try up to 38 stack and then we're good to go to click for our try attempts now this is where it gets a little bit more difficult when we're building that tet stack we're going to be starting at the 80 point but to get there we're going to have to pull out some 50 stacks first these 50 stacks you'll be acquiring from either failing try on your boss gear or if you have to make it yourself without the use of boss gear you'd be using grano helmets for more information on that, you'd have to watch my Valencia stack building video. I'll leave that in the description down below. Now, when you have that 50 stack, you'll be plugging in four tri grano helmets and failing tet to get your 70. When you have your 70 stack, you'll then be plugging in 10 Valks cries so you can use that to go for your tet attempts. Now, last but not least is that pen stack for your boss gear. 
There is a few different methods of making this stack. I will be going through a different method when we're talking about the tech accessory stack later on in this video. But the most likely way you're gonna make your first couple 110 stacks is when you are going for tet on your boss gear. If you fail six times, you're gonna end up with that 110 stack. I'd highly recommend using some restraint, not pushing that stack past 110, because you're gonna really want to use that later. But obviously it is your game, play how you like. I know I've enhanced plenty of tets past the 110 point, but I'm at end game where I am full pen. I definitely didn't do this earlier on when I was full tet because I knew I needed these 110 stacks to get my pens and my tet accessories. So I did show restraint in the early game. But now let's move on to the accessories and we're gonna start with a nice easy one, the price stack. Pretty simple, you just pop on your eblaf and you push that all the way to 20. I don't think that needs much explanation, but I've got a little short video here of me getting that 20 stack. And then you're gonna pop on your pride accessory and then pray to baby Jesus that that 70% chance is gonna be successful. You'll be surprised on how many times you actually end up failing with such a high success rate. But like I said, keep calm and carry on. And now, for the duo accessory stack, it is a pretty big jump compared to the Prime. But to start off with, you're going to be pushing to a 19 stack with Reblaf. And then you're going to be plugging in Prime Runner Helmets and failing duo three times to push that to a 28 stack. And then you're going to be plugging in duo Runner Helmets and failing those three times to get yourself that solid 40 stack. And then you're good to go. And now we're on to that tri stack for the accessories. It's very, very similar to the duo. You're gonna be starting at a 19 stack with Reblaf. You're then gonna be plugging in Pride Grono Helmets and failing duo three times to push to a 28 stack. And then you're gonna be plugging in duo Grono Helmets and now failing four times to push that to a 44 stack. However, there is other ways that you can also get these stacks. If you're succeeding a lot of Pride Grono Helmets, you can just start pushing for those 40 plus stacks failing Tet on the Grunner Helmet instead of Duo to try. Now, for that infamous 110 Tet stack, this is one of the hardest slash most expensive stacks to make in the game when you're trying to get past that soft cap region. Now, like we discussed earlier, one of the ways you can get them is when you're failing your Tet attempts on your boss gear, keep those 110 stacks for situations like these. But if you're in a situation where you're going for Tet and you don't have the luxury of already having that 110 stack and you need to make it from scratch, you'll be using a lot of Grunner Helmets to get yourself up to the 70 stack mark. Now, once you're at the 70 stack mark, you need yourself five Tet Grunner Helmets or five throwaway slash cheap Tet items that you can buy off the central market. Now for me, in this situation, I picked up a Tet Heave Helmet for my last item, which is one of the most expensive throwaway Tets that you can buy. However, if it did go pen, I would have got my money back in that situation. So, so I would have lost my time, but not my silver. And now when you have your 70 stack and your five Tet items, you're gonna plug them in, smash them all the way to 100 whilst clenching your cheeks, praying that they all fail. And then when you've got your 100 stack, you just plug in 10 Valks and then you're good to go. And my final tidbit of advice would be if something does go pen and its market value is very low, you can just devour it for a 75 stack and start again, buy some more pens and push it to 100. But that is it for this video, guys. That is my guide on how to upgrade your boss gear and your accessories. I hope you enjoyed. And now here's a little bonus clip for you guys that's going to be coming up in my next Ninja Odyssey video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you there.